We all should know that diversity makes, makes for a rich, rich tapestry. tapestry. And we must understand that all, all the threads, threads of the tapestry, tapestry are, are equal, equal in value, value, no matter what their, no matter color. What their, no matter color. What their color. At the college school, we have a core belief in the richness and power of an inclusive, transparent, and diverse community. I think the sooner we're able to expose ourselves and our children to diversity among people, uh, I think the sooner we begin to increase and en enlarge our understanding of others. And the sooner we do that, the better off we are. In the preschool and kindergarten, we have we explore identity. The conversations, the discussions, the responses, all of that would be different and would be stronger and would be richer in a classroom that has um, more diversity. So many schools talk about a mission of learning about the world. And I don't think our mission is to learn about the world. Our mission is to teach kids how to live in it. And this is our world. We have lots of different kinds of people in our world. And so lots of different kids in a school, that's what living in the world is about, is living with all these different people, with all these different backgrounds, all these different ideas, all these ways of coming together as a community. As a parent, I want my kids to make new friends, to practice uh, sitting at another lunch table, to talk to someone about their different experiences. When white students sit next to students of color and when vice versa, when students of color sit next to white students. I think it normalizes uh, humanity. I think it shows uh, the other that uh, we are in so many ways alike. While we certainly are different, but I think it just normalizes. We all just want to learn. We just want to uh, have a chance at going to school. As we strive to be thought leaders in experiential education, it is imperative for us to support inclusivity, not only in our curriculum, but for it to be reflected in our student body as well. Our next tangible step to demonstrate our commitment to this core value is by increasing our financial commitment to racial equity scholarships for our current and future families over the next five years. The funds raised tonight will boost individual awards by $2,000 over this five-year time period which will sustain us into the 2022-2023 school year. So tonight, in honor of longtime educator Doris Roberts, we ask you to raise your paddles to support the Doris Roberts Diversity Scholarship Fund. So with your help, we can take another measurable step towards becoming the inclusive, transparent, and diverse school community that our children need us to be. It makes me proud when I see the college school emphasizing inclusion and equity. In my experience, I feel the school has blossomed as a result of those that work. And it just sets the school apart. This isn't just creating diversity for the sake of diversity. I think that this is a path to wholeness for our community um, and reflects what I hope happens in St. Louis and our nation. 